lot of friends who heard the album said to me, you know what you should do? You should do a show that combines your stand-up comedy and impressions with this fantastic piano music. And I said, well, it wouldn't work. I said, people who go to comedy clubs, you know, they don't want to suddenly hear short, romantic pieces of classical piano music in between the jokes. And similarly, people who like classical piano music, don't suddenly want to hear me, you know, do an impression of uh, Harry Kane. You know, that's why there's that many people uh, who like Tottenham Watch for a football club, uh, who also enjoy, you know, wedding day at Trollhagen. So I did this show, Introductions to Classical Piano, last year, and I'm off again around the country in 2019 to prove to people that it doesn't work. In fact, I've only been playing the piano uh, properly for about four years. Up until then, I thought that an andante con brio was something you might pick up in Starbucks. My idea of a good German leader was Angela Merkel. And those jokes may well be why stand-up comedians are normally kept well away from classical music events. But no one ever knows when to clap at a classical music event, do they, you know? We like a response. You wouldn't expect to see John Bishop going on stage at the Hammersmith Apollo and saying to his audience, can I just ask you not to laugh at me jokes one by one along the way? Could you just save up all the individual laughs and then just before the interval, let out one really big long laugh for about 10 minutes, all right? That's not gonna happen, is it? Music of Claude Debussy, 1862 to 1918, was labelled impressionistic, and Debussy himself was called an impressionist. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to do the obvious joke, although apparently he did do a very good Napoleon and a hilarious Toulouse Lautrec. Yeah. But could he have ever done Professor Brian Cox? <laughs> well, I doubt that very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> 